We're gonna make this pineapple um, pound cake. We went to some estate sales last week, found this 1970s era cookbook. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's see what she marked. And today we're going to make, what are we going to make? We're going to make Ruth Ehrenberg's pineapple pound cake. I don't have any oleo, margarine, which is fine. I don't really care for margarine. We're going to use some butter and sugar. We have plenty of eggs. And I have a can of pineapples. Sounds good. I have the ingredients in the house. That's the number one thing. Let's do it. So instead of oleo, I am going to use butter. This is some homemade butter. We're gonna add two cups of sugar to that butter and then we're going to cream it. Okay, that looks good and creamed and now we're gonna add five eggs, one at a time and beating each one as we go. And now we add two cups of flour. And one teaspoon of vanilla. A fourth a teaspoon of salt. And one can of crushed pineapple and heavy syrup. So we need to save the syrup because it will be the sauce for the cake. And then we pour the batter into a slightly greased angel food cake pan. This is what it looks like. It smells so amazing. Mm. Pineapple, butter. <laughs> sugar. It's so, it smells so good. Anyway, I'm going to stick this in the oven. Let's bake it. Let's put it in at 350 for one hour. I mean, it was super easy. It was so easy. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's check it. Okay. Well, let's let it cool and then we'll make the sauce. All right, hopefully it didn't just stick. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? It turned out okay. I'm getting excited. It's time to make the sauce. So we take the juice and three fourths cups of sugar and warm the sugar until it's dissolved or a light boil and then we pour over the cake. Let's try it. Here's the pineapple pound cake. Let's try it. It is sweet, 
and buttery and moist. I mean, look at that. See how moist? It is so good. Mm. So pineapple-y. I love carrot cake and carrot cake that has pineapples in it. And this is kind of what it's putting me to mind of. It is so good. And one of the easiest recipes ever, y'all. If you try it, if you try this recipe, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you like the video, give it a big like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.